Hello everyone, I'm Hai Jin. Truckers travel extensively every day. Truck is our most familiar partner, but few truckers know how it's made. Today, I will show you how steel plates turn into a super truck step by step. First, let's go to see how a cab is made. The process is to turn steel plates into different parts of the cab and then weld them together and spray paint it beautifully. These in front of me are the raw materials used to make a cab. These steel plates seem to be the same with common ones, but its strength directly determines the cab safety. A cab made from such 1mm thick steel plates produced by a large steel company is much safer than the one produced with common steel plates. After processing, sheet metal parts of the cab came out one by one. To turn into a complete cab, they need to be welded. Welding is reminiscent of workers holding a welding gun each with sparks. Only 133 ABB automatic welding robots imported from Sweden are working orderly here. They're welding the sheet metal parts of a cab. Truck cabs are mainly produced by manual, semi-automatic, or fully automatic process. In fully automatic process, cab is welded completely automatically by robot. A super truck's cab may be made like this. It's not easy to enter the place where the cab is spray painted because this place has fairly high requirements on the cleanliness of air. We've worn protective clothing to enter this mysterious place. The painted surface of cars is generally the best. But do you know that can the painted surface of truck cab be as good as that of a car? Of course it can, but the process is not simple. First, you need to apply a layer of electrophoretic paint to the cab surface. Put the cab in a large pool filled with electrophoretic liquid. On the steel plate surface of the cab, the electrophoresis solution will form a dense paint foam. The electrophoretic paint used in this cab is currently the most advanced Toyota 8th generation paint with very strong corrosion resistance. The truck cab is then coated with colored paint and finish. The entire spraying process is completed automatically by robot. It can be seen that the surface of this paint film is fairly even. Even after years of use, this kind of paint won't fade easily. High quality painted surface is also one of the main features of a super truck. Truckers should be familiar with such steel coil. It's used to make truck beams. How can these raw materials be made into a truck beam? We use this big rolling machine in front of me. The steel plates are delivered from this side, and on the other side the truck laundering comes out. At present, in China, most trucks adapt stamped frames. Stamping is to put the steel plate into the machine and then smash it out, while rolling is to squeeze the steel plate little by little with a roller into a complete frame. Relatively speaking, if with the same weight, the rolled frame is much stronger than the punched one. So a super truck's frame must be produced using the rolling method. These are the assembled truck frames coated with electrophoretic paint. So far a high strength, high precision and lightweight frame is thoroughly completed. Now both the cab and the frame are completed, can we complete the final assembly? Let's go and have a look. Here, truck assembly begins. Do you think that since the truck is such a behemoth, its assembly process must be very slow. But in fact, the truck manufacturing process is not slow at all. Here, in every 270 seconds, a brand new super heavy truck rolls off the production line. Is it amazing to you? But it's hard to achieve this speed. Only the highly intelligent factories can achieve such extreme production speed. 
At present, for various domestic truck factories, their parts and assembly are almost of the same quality, but the assembled trucks sometimes vary greatly. This is actually caused by the assembly process. How can we ensure both production speed and quality? We rely on intelligent assembly and advanced assembly process. What are the specifics? Let's go on to see it. The just finished frame is assembled with key parts like leaf spring here. Unexpectedly, an intelligent device is used. The key parts of the tire and leaf spring bolts are all fastened by it. How hard should the bolt be fastened? A precise setting has been made. When used later, the screws won't loose. When the chassis arrives here, axles, gas cylinders and other accessories have been installed. It seems to be nearly completed. It's then sent into a big house where the chassis is repainted. The repainted truck chassis has its corrosion resistance and aging resistance greatly improved. This is how super trucks are made. Now the truck engine is fully installed. Over there the cabs are not directly installed onto the trucks. But line up to enter a big house. Each cab must enter from here to be tested for about 6 minutes before being installed. It is said that the rainfall inside is equal to a heavy rain in nature. These cabs have experienced the rain test. They are ready for final installation. At this time, our truck is already complete. The exciting time finally arrives. Our truck is finally finished. At this time, can it leave the factory directly? No, because it has to undergo strict debugging and testing. All trucks need to have their steering, braking, emission and lighting systems undergo comprehensive debugging and detection. Only after rigorous debugging can it be a real super truck. After debugging, the finished trucks come here, a test track in the factory. This track is about 3.5 kilometers long. All tracks have to run for a few laps here to have a try and see if there are any flaws. Only the one that has withstood road tests is a truly perfect super truck. But it's worth mentioning that not all brands of trucks have the condition for road tests because the test track for truck manufacturers is luxury. After road tests, our truck has become a commodity in its complete state. From rows of steel plates to finished trucks, truck manufacturing is much more advanced than we thought. After watching the whole process, truckers, have you got a new understanding of it?